Good evening, and welcome to St. Paul the Apostle Parish. Our celebrant today is Father Mark, assisted by Deacon John. Today is Holy Thursday. Today we, we begin the celebration of the most sacred, sacred Triduum with the celebration of the Lord's Supper. Tonight we remember that first Eucharist and re rejoice that our Lord has deigned to give us so great a gift as this sacrament. Let us prepare ourselves for this sacred liturgy by taking a moment of silent prayer. Please stand and join in our opening hymn, Glory in the Cross, number 139. Let us now present the oils, the oil of the sick. This oil of the sick has been blessed by our bishop for the healing of body, mind, and soul. May the sick who are anointed with it experience the compassion of Christ and his saving love. The oil of the catechumens. This oil of the catechumens has been blessed by our bishop for the anointing of those preparing for baptism. Through this anointing, they are strengthened by Christ to resist the powers of sa power of Satan and reject evil in all its forms as they prepare for the saving waters of baptism. The sacred chrism. This sacred chrism, a mixture of olive oil and perfume, has been consecrated by our bishop and the priests of our diocese. It will be used to anoint infants after baptism, those who are to be confirmed, bishops and priests at their ordination, and altars and churches at the time of their dedication. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your body and blood bring newness of life. Christ Jesus, you set an example of mutual service. Lord Jesus, your love can wash away every sin. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son went about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one, and shall share the lamb, in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. 
You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the month, and then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house of which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat it like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, 
This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet, he put his garments back on and reclined at table again. He said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for so indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening, St. Paul. Good evening, Father. We get to do something tonight that we haven't been able to do in three years now. Uh, We have the washing of the feet, the mandatum rite, uh, at Holy Thursday, and something that we haven't been able to do during COVID. Um, And it's a wonderful, 
wonderful symbolic expression of being the body of Christ. Um, but tonight, we, we celebrate in a special way the Lord's Supper, the, the Last Supper. And um, I actually, we actually had one additional uh, celebration this week and um, one additional Mass this week. And it was actually a, a funeral Mass. And I, I wanted to share a little piece, just a little piece of my homily uh, from that Mass this week. It was actually a fellow parishioner of ours who passed away. Uh, probably many of you uh, are already aware that Val Rand recently passed away. And he's been a long time faithful parishioner of St. Paul. And one of the things that I had shared at his funeral homily this week, and it's something that I picked up on pretty quickly uh, with Val. Uh, you know, when I, when I came here um, a couple years ago, Val and his family, they would sit right up here in the front, and I would come and distribute communion uh, to him. And Val did something just a little bit different than, than most of us do at that time. He would open up his hands and he would get ready to receive the Lord and he would say amen but then he would say thank you my Lord he would always say the words thank you my Lord and it, it really touched me because what it, what it said to me was here's, here's somebody who gets it here's somebody who, who doesn't take this for granted and, and how easy it is for us to take our faith for granted and and to take the Eucharist for granted. I, I, we, we come and receive, but, but how many times do we catch ourselves kind of on an autopilot mode and not really, really taking that moment to, to really contemplate prayerfully what it is that we're receiving? And, and so I always felt that Val was an example to me of someone who, who always took the time and, and took a prayerful moment to make sure that, that he didn't let that happen. He always wanted to make sure that he knew that that moment was special. There was something tremendously special when we come and receive our Lord uh, in the Eucharist. The other special thing, of course, that we do, as I had mentioned at the beginning of the homily, that we haven't done in a couple of years, is the foot washing. This has its own set of significance to it because Jesus, right in the Last Supper, takes time out to, to do this, what probably seemed very strange to the disciples. It would have been very strange for them to see their master, their, their teacher, get down on his hands and knees and, and, and wash their feet. And, and Jesus, he did it as an example. He did it as an example for you and for me to say, if I'm going to do this, if I... I'm going to be a servant. And you follow me. Then you need to do this too. And so it's, a, it's an example for us. Jesus uh, washes the feet of his disciples as an example of service in hopes, in hopes that this tremendous faith in which we receive the body of Christ translates into how we live our life outside of those doors, that we leave this place today transformed, transformed by the Eucharist, that we would go out into the world and, and in, in many ways wash the feet of others. Maybe not actually wash feet, but, but actually go out and do service. Reach out to those who are less fortunate. Do acts of kindness. Do acts of charity in the world. Be the body of Christ. We come and receive. We receive with, with reverence, but then we become what we receive. So at this time, I would invite those uh, who are signed up to have their feet washed. Maybe you could come up and form your lines. Please join in singing hymn number 141, As I Have Done For You.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We who have received the Lord's gift of pardon and salvation humbly present our petitions to God. That Christ, the high priest, guide all believers in the path of self-sacrifice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ, the suffering servant, inspire public servants to do more for those in need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ, the innocent victim, console the sick and comfort the sorrowing, the sorrowing let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ, the victorious King, lead the elect into God's heavenly reign, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick or injured, that they might find healing and comfort in the power of God's consoling love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they might be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those remembered in our book of prayers and for those intentions that we hold in the quiet of our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of this Mass, the priests of the Joliet Diocese, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this solemn night, we offer these prayers in union with the Church around the world. O oh God, hear us and grant us what we need for the love of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Please join in singing hymn number... 326, I am the bread of life.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Praise the Lord in his name for our Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong, and as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of, his saving pa of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, and ascension into heaven, 
and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul, our patron saint, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, Daniel, our retired Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ. Body of Christ.
Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And during our, our Eucharistic uh, procession uh, today, uh, we would invite you just to remain seated in prayer. Uh, Deacon John and myself uh, will be processing uh, Jesus around our sanctuary and around our uh, congregation today. Uh, and then you are welcome to stay as long as you like tonight. Uh, Jesus will be available uh, all the way until midnight. So even if you wanted to go out for a little bit, come back and spend some time in prayer later, that's okay too. Uh, Jesus will be present here for you. Please join in singing Pange Lingua. <laughs> 